Hi everyone, my name is Sam Weimer, and I'm here to present Dog Perk. This is my second startup. Dog Perk is an indoor dog park. It's private, it's conveniently located in West Kent, and it's a clean facility. Uh, what makes us different is that it's a, an alternative to local dog parks because my dogs have been screened for aggression, they're fixed, and they show proof of vaccination. This is Diana, and Diana is a nurse at CHKD, and like most nurses, she works a lot. And this is Diana's dog park, and Merce is a three-year-old German Shepherd, and like most three-year-old German Shepherds, she has a lot of energy. And when she doesn't get that energy out, she likes to destroy things. <laughs> <laughs> this is Merce digging in the trash to get the dog park of the seventh grade. Here she is destroying a Tazner sweater, because uh, it's raining outside and Diana didn't want to get people that. And lastly, finally, she's at the dog park and she's dirty and she may or may not be playing with dogs that have been vaccinated. So here's my solution. Uh, it's a, this is space. That's all it is. And it's dog friendly and it's here for you to let your dog expend that energy. Some amenities include um, artificial turf, um, extended hours, bathing stations, uh, we've got Wi Fi. Communal workstations along the wall. On the back is a refreshment bar with some TVs um, and long hours. So here's my business model. It's very simple. It's like a gym. So no matter what dog you have, you have to come through me at Dog Count and uh, Dog Daycare. So you get registered, evaluated, and screened at Dog Count. And now I got you. You can come to daycare and boarding here. We supervise your dog. We bathe your dog. You pick up the dog food. Over here is dog perk. You supervise your dog. You bathe your dog. You pick up your food. Uh, so we run a subscription base. It's 60 a month for one dog, 80 for two dogs, three dogs, 100. Um, and the hours run from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. for monthly members. And if you are not a member, you have the only hours you have is between 2, 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. So from a staffing standpoint, there's no one there unless uh, someone's manning the front desk from that 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. time slot, and then someone else will be there to put out content. Uh, monthly members get a P5 and you like yourself in, and that's what the camera's for. So it's kind of like on your arm, and then you clean up after yourself. Uh, and then lastly, a nice little perk is when you're at home and you're like, oh, I wonder if anyone's a dog perk, you can log on to the webcam and see, oh wow, there's a group watching the game. Grab a beer and hang out with them. So this is my like, secret sauce. We're conveniently located in West Camp. We hope to have a nice symbiotic relationship with other businesses in the area. Uh, you know, ideally you would grab a pizza from Bay House and a growler from the Birch and come over with your dog and let them expend their energy and you get to hang out and drink beer. Uh, at Dog Town, we put out current, creative, and constant content to keep my customers engaged. Everyone loves to get put on and uh, and lastly, it's just a social space. Um, yappy hour. We've got uh, you know, private events uh, capability, an alumni night, and we can even bring back pizza. So the market, uh, from a macro perspective, the dog industry did seven billion last year. Uh, in Norfolk alone, we introduced did seven thousand dog licenses in the area locally. Um, I currently at Dog Town have eight hundred and twenty-seven registered and evaluated dogs. We grow about 80 to 90 dogs uh, a month, and so like roughly three a day. Um, Norfolk ranks fourth in dog parks in the country, which is pretty phenomenal. Um, and so I just told my customers just to see if they're going to be great, and the great feedback has been great. <coughs> Competition. So I like to use this because there's nothing else on the market right now. Um, yes, dog indoor dog parks exist, but they are attached to local daycares. So, you know, you have a daycare and a boarding facility. Uh, it runs on this side, and then from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m., the, the right side only is for indoor dog parks. So my facility will be the, one of the first standalone indoor dog parks in Norfolk. The water analogy is the first person to sell a bottle of water is, you know, why would you buy it if you can get out of the sink? Why would you go to an indoor place when you go outside for free? Um, but the reason why is because it's Clean, filtered, and convenient. 
dog park will be clean, dogs will be filtered for aggression, and vaccinated and assisted being exposed to anything in the outer environment. Somebody's saying that no, you don't have to do blinds, because you know my kids. But <laughs> we have three, and this is what I'm trying to show that it's very franchisable. Uh, I work 86 hours at Dog Town every week, and I'll be able to run this place, uh, you know, with low, uh, not that much time. You just clean at night. Allie can command the desk from one to six, and Kelly can put out content. Um, um. Uh, so I'd like to forecast, and I did a variety of plans to make it more realistic. Um, so I break even 179 to break even, and I think it's pretty realistic because Dog Town runs uh, three dogs a day, 90 dogs a month, and I, I realistically did one dog a day to be conservative. Uh, I start breaking even month five, and um, it takes a uh, quarter million to open one of these locations up. So uh, I've seen profit back. I paid the place off in four years. <clears throat> so from a scaling standpoint, I haven't validated this. We're opening in January, but um, I do know that it's very repli easily replicated into, um, and I'd go into demographics similar to the one in West Kent, like the dive district where Chicks Beach. Here we are currently, it took us three months to get off the ground, another three months to renovate, we'll open in January. Currently, why am I here is because I need some capital. Uh, I've got enough to pay for the build out, but I don't have enough for the finishing touches like chairs, the IMAX, of, of fridge to your beer. And so I've been flipping houses on the side, it's my specialty. Uh, Facebook Marketplace, OfferUp, Craigslist, I go and buy them and sell them. And so if you're tired of the dog park closing because it's raining, or maybe you're just tired of sneaking in wine, come check this out. <laughs> So your scalability plan, since this is a scalability kind of session, is based on franchising, right? Like we take the outreach and how big this could get. So I'm, I'm making an assumption, so correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. And a quarter of a million to open up one of these things, does that include real estate and everything? Is that all in, a quarter of a million to open up a site? So all in, but that's, um, I signed a lease five years ago. So it's a rental property. Any, any environmental issues with landlords and stuff because you are dealing with dog waste and stuff like that? No, it's right here. Cool. So you're going to be the founding fathers of the whole franchise week. So if you're thinking to start up, why would somebody make this? Passive income. So if, if I'm Joe and I work at Steel and Virginia Beach, mm -hmm. I work nine to five. Uh, I've got two employees, it's pretty low overhead. Uh, they, they command from one to six, and other girl puts out content, and then I go there after hours and just clean up. I clean up the turf, mop the front desk, and you know, take out the trash. And I'm, I'm bringing in 86,000 a month, low, you know, low, uh, I don't know how to say that. Right, so why would somebody need to be a franchisee versus just calling it dog perks and opening one on their own? Or just dog whatever I want. Brand. You're buying the brand. I mean, uh, somebody else. I mean, uh, competition is great. So you just use it. You're going to serve alcohol or allow alcohol? And so I, I have a like BYOB. Bring it I'm trying to work out with the Department of Health, but that's the issue is that uh, you can't actually serve dogs. So. I, I think you've got a bigger problem. Yeah, so they were down with it, but the Virginia the Department of Health did not. Well, you can't. I, I'm just saying that because you can't open it for a quarter. Of a, you can't open it for two fifty if you need a liquor license. Right.
started out a big budget, um, or excuse me, a low budget, and so I'd like to bring it up to where it should be. And this piece of the came in from a survey of your downtown clients? 350,000? No, the piece of it, at the end, you got interest, right? And so you got people who said that they're interested in. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that came from your current customers? Where's the list?